Hey there, Cancer. Welcome to Lady of the Unknown Oracle. My name is Sophie, and this is your February 2023 reading. Thank you so much for joining me. Kindly remember that this is a general reading and that time is fluid, so please apply what resonates currently and suspend the rest. This reading can be applied to relationships, career, and personal growth, as well as to the sign of Cancer, wherever it presents in your birth chart. If you'd like a personal reading with me, please see the information in the description box below, or you can send me an email at ladyoftheunknown555 at gmail.com. And with that, let's go ahead and jump right in, Cancer. Now, I want to say that during your pre-shuffle, I felt this intense feeling of wasting time or that time is running out. And there was a, a very intense feeling of being closed in on or being cornered. All right. So we're going to see if that comes up and in which way it comes up. Three of Wands, you're definitely waiting for something. I can see how this feeling of time is coming to a close or there isn't enough of it could be playing into this. But the Three of Wands indicates an expectation. You're waiting to hear back from someone, from something. And in general, you've already put the energy out there. You've put the intention. You've made the moves. You've you know, submitted the application. You are just waiting to hear back, trying to see what's going on. You're so close is what the, what the feeling is. The feeling is that, you know, I'm just so, so close. Where you currently are is the Eight of Wands. You know, yeah, you've been communicating. You've been signing the paperwork, sending the emails, talking to the people. You know, for some, this is about traveling. So you've been physically positioning yourself to where you need to be, doing what you need to do. It's definitely not that you are not doing your part, all right? But movement, you are definitely making swift progress. So if you wonder, if you wonder, Cancer, whether or not you are showing up enough? The answer is yes. Coming up as the eight of wands means that you are moving, if anything, almost too fast, almost too fast, right? Because after the eight is the nine and that indicates getting tired. So make sure that whatever this is that you're doing, you're not burning yourself out. If you've already put the energy out there and you are doing your d due diligence, right? Take a, take a step, just take a breather. Um, pump the brakes for just a second and make sure that you are showing up in an energy that you can sustain because you could be running out of energy more than running out of time. Okay, this is a, a marathon, whatever this is, not a race. Now the block is the two of cups. So there, uh, some kind of important connection here is standing in the way of something. For some, this is about, you know, needing to travel and not being able to because of some important ties that now add a level of complexity to this plan or add a level of complexity to this outlook. All right. Um, maybe this person is not here, but it's someone that you want. And so if you say yes to an opportunity or you continue in the direction you've been moving into, that might make forging a connection with someone more difficult, right? For others, this is about just moving in a direction that you're not really sure that you emotionally feel contented in. The Two of Cups talks about making a decision from your heart in the sense of a person, right? Reciprocating back to a person, but it can be reciprocating back into a a job or just a decision that you're making. Does it give back to you what you are giving to it and vice versa, right? But there is definitely a standstill here. Someone may be speaking more than they're feeling or someone is not speaking on their emotions or in general, someone is taking an approach and finding that they're doesn't seem to be a reciprocation there. And so that's where the waiting is coming in. When will I receive a response? The best case scenario here is the Four of Swords. So there's something needing to be considered first. There is some space that needs to be taken or a rest that needs to be taken. This Eight of Wands, like we were just saying, make sure you're not burning yourself out. Um, this could also indicate just the need to take things slowly to balance things back out, to balance your heart, to balance yourself emotionally and mentally, you need to take a step of doing absolutely nothing because a lot has already been done. So the best case scenario here is that there is a break that is taken. It gives someone here the opportunity to heal, to mull things over, and to decide where they want to be next. 
here in the why it's all happening is the page of swords so you could be connecting with a libra aquarius gemini but this is some kind of either discussion over the internet right so an, uh, an email or text messages phone calls things like that this could also be somebody who you find gossips and is sort of unwise with their word choice someone who speaks but they don't disclose all the information or they disclose information in a way that can be misinterpreted, right? They're just, they're not very eloquent. They are not always very clear. And they can sometimes be a little rough around the edges. The Page of Swords has been known as somebody who can also um, be a spy in a sense. Where some, you know, like a stalker. Um, not in the real sense, right? Um, not to be afraid of this person per se. But just somebody who maybe on the internet is always checking your social media right in, in more like that like they're always liking your photos and they're always showing their attention in that way so it could be a connection that was made over the internet if this is a job search right the reason it's all happening is because of a job posting some kind of message that was given received etc okay in the recent past we have the ace of pentacles so for some this is a job this is some commitment some type of commitment either in the form of a person Right. So for those of you who maybe found out that you have just conceived a child, right, that would be indicative of this new commitment, this potential commitment. Right. This would also indicate a job offer, the potential in that in that employment. Um, this could be a new house. Whatever this is, though, it is it is it has great potential and it's something that you you said yes to that you identified immediately as something you wanted to carry on with and something that you are moving completely into that direction with you in this if there are other people involved you are definitely sure that this is where you want to be now coming into the near future you have the ace of wands okay so remember what we were saying with the eight of wands the eight of wands can very quickly become the nine which could indicate being exhausted, burned out even. It is not sustainable, the Nine of Wands. Now, the Ace of Wands does indicate a renewal, right? So the Ace of Wands is about being motivated, being given that inspiration, being given the juice, right? So provided that this best case scenario is taken to heart and a rest is adequately taken, I am seeing Cancer for you having a rejuvenation, being motivated anew having being able to really sit in the enjoyment and the passion and the excitement of an energy and allowing it to fuel you give me one second all right cancer apologies for that uh we got some outside noise going on but unfortunately i can't control that so we're just gonna keep it pushing um but yes coming in with the ace of wands we have this motivation and this newfound inspiration that's going to sort of give you that juice that you are waiting for something that's going to allow you to continue moving forward in the same way that you were hoping to previously now how you see yourself now is the sun so you could have a leo placement very strong in your chart you could also be seeing yourself as being in close connection to somebody who takes on these elements or is a leo but you are seeing yourself as somebody who is very warm, very nurturing, someone who is by nature a happy-go-lucky person, somebody who is not easily stopped because, let's be honest, who can stop the, st the sun, right? So you could be seeing yourself right now as somebody who is just ready to be where you are, to get in the game, to have a new job, to be in a healthy relationship, to be, you know, full of life, excited. Starting a new day. For some, this is about you turning a new leaf. Right? Now, coming into your environment, something that you don't see or something that you won't be seeing being dropped into your environment is the lovers. So you could be connecting with a Gemini, but definitely an opportunity. And like we were saying with the Two of Cups, this is a decision you make with your heart. This is a crossroads, in a sense, where you are deciding what stays, what goes, that applies to individuals, it applies to jobs. For some, I'm seeing that you are contemplating making a big career move. And that's the issue here is that you are ready to move out of where you currently are in your job. 
and you're ready to progress on to something else, if it's within the same company, it's just a, diff a different job. For some, it's a completely different company. Um, if it's a person, right, you might be dating currently and you are really putting your sights on one particular person and you're hoping that they reciprocate and you just haven't heard back. There's a block there. Right. So we'll see how this clarifies. But in general, it feels to me, Cancer, like you are really moving into a space of being true to yourself and selecting in and selecting out people, places and situations that that are deserving to stay and deserving to go. Now, the fear that you have is the five of cups. So you're afraid that there might be a repeat situation of a previous loss or that you're going to regret something if you stick around, uh, not stick around, but if you wait around too long to hear back that you might be squandering an opportunity elsewhere and you'll regret not, not responding back to someone or you'll regret what you decided ultimately to do. But please know, Cancer, that you are making the best decisions you can and you are exactly on track right now. What the universe is bringing you with the lovers, this is not something that's just dropped into your life. You positioned yourself to accept this, to be given these choices, to be given this opportunity, to be given, you know, a, a sense of balance in your life, right? So you are not here in this space right now out of pure coincidence. You've positioned yourself and I don't see any accidents or any mistakes being made at the moment. Right. I think second guessing yourself might lend you more to this five of cups because you've been listening to your heart. You've been listening to your to your energies. Right. Wands can indicate spiritual, spiritual like signs. Right. The spiritual energy. And I feel like you've been following that. You've been following the flow. Most likely outcome we have is the star. So you could be connecting with an Aquarius coming in. But with the star, we are also talking about a massive goal that was, you know, maybe it felt far off. Maybe it felt like a dream, like you couldn't actually achieve it. It's going to come a lot sooner than you thought. This is something that you were aiming for for quite a while, and it's going to be yours. This is also about healing. This is about having gone through the process. It's been a long road. It's about finally reaching a pinnacle, reaching something that you just, it felt like just felt so far away. I'm also getting for some of you this connection that you have with whoever this is. There's also an, an age difference is what I'm getting too. That there's a, a sort of like a, a gap, an age gap. And I'm seeing with the Ace of Wands and the Star, this is drawing on that same inspiration once again. So whatever is coming in with this opportunity and this thing that's going to ignite your passions again, it's going to allow you to set your sights even higher. And it's going to feel doable. It's going to feel like exactly what you needed. Six of Wands. Recognized. Being recognized for your hard work. Being promoted, if that's what you wanted. Again, that, that shift, that career shift, that job shift, whatever it is, the change. Being recognized for what you, what you bring to the table. When it comes to connections, romantic or otherwise, this is about being recognized, being admired. Not necessarily being put on a pedestal, although with the star, we'll see how that clarifies. But it, you definitely are someone's cup of tea. Someone's going to notice you. And I have a feeling it is way more than just one person. So I want to say this. If you are wondering if there are more than who you are interested in currently, who are interested in you, the answer is yes. Okay. Um, if you are wondering if this person views you as someone desired, the answer is yes. Okay. Okay. But more than anything, there is some kind of fight that you've been fighting, Cancer, and you are going to feel like you have won it. With the Eight of Wands, with your current energy, and the Knight of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy, this is a feeling here of you really putting your heart on your sleeve. You've done everything you can. You've let the jobs know that you're interested. You've let your boss know that this is what you intend for your, for your future 
for your trajectory at work. You've already informed the person that you're connected to that this is where you see things going. You've shared your emotions. You've shared your, your dreams, your passions. You've already spoken about the direction you find most fulfilling and your expectations. Your expectations. Right? With the block being the two of cups, we have the page of cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. That this is, again, somebody here is not apologizing. Someone here is not even offering just an inkling of what they're thinking. Someone here who does have a connection with you, I think they are just not where you are because they are still at the page stage. They're not at the, they're not a knight. So I think in terms of emotions, I think the reason, Cancer, that you may be feeling that this person is not disclosing their emotions to you right now is because they themselves do not reciprocate in the same way that you do. They might see you as a friend right now, whereas your intentions are a little bit more, um, you're thinking about the future. This person might still be trying to decide if they want to continue in that same sense, just because it may be coming off to them a little intimidating. It's not that they don't feel the same as you. They just don't feel it as intensely. And your speed, you're moving a lot quicker through this than they are prepared for. They, they're thinking to themselves, well, if cancer wants to move along this fast, then I don't want to stop them from their happiness. Then I'll let them go and pursue this at their speed with someone else who is also their speed. This person just doesn't feel like they're, they're your speed. They feel this is someone who you could connect with in the long run. But I think the speed or the expectation that they're feeling is coming right now is it's it's too much they, they it's like they can't even really process it and it's it's making them pause a little bit okay and i for me that's what i'm getting from this is it's not someone who doesn't want this with you but you want it tomorrow and they they don't want it tomorrow just yet because there are certain things in the air there are certain they have to work around it they still have to figure things out and this could be reversed, right? This could be you. But in general, this is also when it comes to career and finance and school and things of that nature. This is about not you not being fit for the role, but that there are still other elements needing to be decided on. There are still, you are ready right now and maybe your boss is not ready yet. Maybe the company is not ready to hire you yet. There is still something here that has to balance out, right? So with the best case scenario, with the Four of Swords being clarified with the Knight of Swords, right? So again, um, you could be connecting with an air sign, Gemini strong here, right? Could be connected with an Aquarius or a Libra. But this is about putting a pause on the communication, putting a pause on the pursuit, there's something disruptive about the speed of things. It, it, it's almost intrusive, right? It, it's almost like, it almost feels like boundary pushing cancer. Like it feels like it's approaching boundary pushing almost. So I would just be careful because things can only move as quickly as they move. And there is something here that you're not able to see just, just yet. It's like further down the line, there's a boulder blocking things off. And no matter how hard you push, you just can't push beyond it because you're not the only factor here that is implementing a change. There are multiple elements involved in what this is that you're, that you're trying to achieve. And unless they are moving too, you are not going to get, you're not going to be able to close the distance. It feels to me like everything you've done, everything you've said is what you can do and what you can say. And now it's just a matter of letting everything else fall into place. Other words, you're, other words, you're, otherwise, you're going to continue to push and you're going to really exhaust yourself, right? You're going to exhaust yourself and get tired and, and maybe even go backwards, so trust that what you've already put in and what you've said is being considered, being heard, being understood, and then continue forward with what you've been doing and then check back periodically. Again, kind of pump the brakes just a little bit. With the Page of Swords being why this is all happening and the Nine of Cups, this to me feels like a selfish person, feels like someone wants everything. 
Um, if this is a job, this is somebody who really just does not feel like moving from their position. If this is someone who is like someone in HR, it just feels like they're very comfy, cozy, um, you know, with how the, how the circumstances currently are. They might be feeling like they have a lot of um, qualified applicants and that they just feel very comfortable. It's not that they're going to select other people besides you, but it almost feels like they're not pressed for time. They're not pressed for time. Everything right now in their domain is pretty much where they want it to be right now. That to me is feeling like whatever this block is, it's because whoever is on the receiving end, they are okay with things being where they are right now. Right? So I'm going to say this, Cancer, because this gets into a slightly more delicate conversation. But like we were talking about with taking a break and trusting that what you've said has already been considered and is already there, that is where you can decide with these aces, you can decide whether this is something that you continue to press upon and allow it to weigh on you, or you can just keep it moving and keep pushing forward in the capacity you already have been because I don't get the feeling that you're unhappy where you are. I'm just getting that you want something more, something else, something new. And you will be getting that no matter whether it's from this person or this thing, or it comes to you in a different sense. Cause again, with the lovers, I'm getting that, that something else is going to present itself a third party, not in, not in the typical sense, right? But just, Something that you had not considered approaching is going to approach you. So in the recent past with the Ace of Pentacles, we have the Ace of Pentacles again. So this is a commitment, a potential, absolutely a potential. Absolutely the potential for something incredible. Okay. This is not a coincidence. Okay. The universe gave you a person, it gave you a job opportunity, it gave you something. You've applied to it, you have given your emotions to it, you've expressed yourself, and you've, you're moving quickly in that direction. Coming in with the Ace of Wands, you have the King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is a boss, all right? So I'll tell you this, whoever is sort of the monkey wrench in the machine right now, this person's going to clear it out. If you have a feeling something here is not working out the way it's supposed to, that's because you're not talking to the right person. Shoot a message to the person in charge. I think what you're going to have, you will have already gotten a feeling that things are moving a little bit too slowly, or maybe you're not talking to the right person. People keep on approaching you like they're the middleman. Talk directly to the person. Just send a respectful email or make a respectful call to them and just, you know, express your interest and a con just requesting confirmation that you're, recent correspondences have been um received right this person is a boss this person's a manager this person has it perfectly within their capability to make anything happen anything this person may even approach you because of how loud your energy has been but it's coming in it's absolutely coming in and this person is going to make you feel very motivated to continue doing what you've been doing or give you an opportunity to do what you've been doing, but differently. But it's a different person separate from whoever else you've been connecting with. So if you have been connecting with someone who's been giving you this page of cups energy, right? Someone who might be playing some games with you in the near future, you are actually going to come in contact with someone who meets your same level of perseverance, your same, oof, that, that energy. They're going to meet you with the same interest, the same desire. The physical, the physical attraction is going to be off the charts. Insane. Where there isn't another person, this could be you. And you are going to be stepping into your own power where you realize that with applying to all of these jobs and applying to all of these programs, you could actually just do it yourself and you start your own business. Just like that. Because you see yourself as the sun. With the seven of wands, you see yourself as fighting for something that you've already been working long and hard for. People have been challenging you on it left and right, left and right. You don't even care. You could not even care less. You have been here, done that, wrote the book, yada, yada. 
Get out of my way. What I tell you. Right. Seven of Wands. You see yourself as someone who has more, more than enough emotion, more than enough ability to overcome whatever, whatever attempts to block your path. Cancer, you will be met with incredible success this month. Absolutely incredible success within your own right. In whatever way you are seeking it, you will have it. What the universe is sending to you or what is currently in your environment that you don't see yet is the lovers clarified by the seven of swords. So for some of you where this is a third party, right? This is somebody, somebody who you feel like has been fairly secretive, maybe having their cake and eating it too. That feeling of withdrawal that you've gotten from them where you can just tell they're not on the same level. It's either because they, you know, the third party doesn't have to be a person. It could just be work, right? When you're a workaholic and you're always at your job, you're basically as the, as the significant other, you are competing now with their job for their attention. That's still a third party. It's something that's distracting them from the, the nuclear relationship, right? So whatever is going on with this person, they are not telling you that they're, they're leaning on something else. They're leaning on something else and that is preventing them from really connecting with you in the way that you have been expressing you want to connect with them. In that sense, you are going to find that out. It is going to be revealed to you and that is going to allow you to be at peace with this, this new energy coming in. For others of you, right, this is about you possibly trying to avoid a new opportunity that's given to you because you see yourself now wanting something different. It's like submitting a job application and then in the in the middle of it while waiting for that, that response back from them, you end up starting your own business and then they finally get back to you and you're like, oh, actually, huh, never mind. It's almost like a rescinding or withdrawal of something good or something that has opportunity because it's not that it would be refused for something that was not good because you are actually going to select a person place or situation that you find is much better for you and in greater alignment with where you want to be ultimately so it's not a bad choice that you're making it's just an interesting energy because you wanted this so badly and then you're it's going to be revealed as something that maybe you didn't actually want that much because you're going to be given something better very soon with the five of cups being your fear with the King of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini energy, you might be fearing that this is the bad, the wrong move to make. You might be also, for some, I'm getting that you want someone to feel bad for doing what they did or not saying what they didn't say. Right? Mm, not revenge per se, but you just, you know, you, your fear is that someone here who should be feeling bad doesn't. They would just kind of get through it stone cold. But that's all right. That's all right, Cancer. Don't sit with that for too long because you've got a lot of other much, much better, more balanced things, people, you know, opportunities coming into your life. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't put too much, too much time and energy on that. Um, but in general, this is just about whether you're being, you know, the fear of being too cold towards someone's grief or ignoring someone's grief, ignoring your grief or someone else's. The, the feeling of disappointment or loss and just being numb to it. Um, I'm not seeing that though. Because there's nothing here at the moment to really grieve. You're not going to regret letting someone go because the person you let them go for is going to be better and you're going to feel that it's better. If that's what you're worried about, there will not, there, there won't be regret there. There won't be regret there. You will only make the choice that feels right for you and it is indeed the right choice because that person or that opportunity is coming in as the king of wands, which is someone who is much more committed and much more persistent and ready to go than the page of cups who on, on in their sense, yes, they are feeling ro you know romantic and friendly. The page of cups is a, is a very strong friend energy, but there is something about this person that they are not okay with the speed that you're going. This person might be more of your speed. Now, I'm going to say this for a select few of you, Cancer. If what is bothering you is that the person who is more of your speed, you feel still with all the energy they bring is not what you are looking for because this person is going to tire you out. 
don't feel compelled to continue with them. You can still wait for this person, whoever this Page of Cups is. You can still wait for them if you feel like that bodes better with you. This reading so far is about choices and some whatever opportunities your heart feels most ready to take up. You know you're moving very quickly and you know you're attracting a lot of different energies into your environment. So the question is, what will last the test of time? Because that is what the star talks about. What will last? What will, what will go the distance? You're going to have other opportunities coming in, but the question is, where does your heart see itself? With the most likely outcome being the star, it's also being clarified by the Eight of Wands, which is exactly where you are, which is telling me that you know following the energy, you are going to make the right choice, Cancer. You're going to make the right choice. You are moving exactly into the direction that you need to be. There is no coincidence here. And you are going to find yourself in a much healthier space very, very, very soon. This is also, again, for those of you that are applying to jobs, you are going to be receiving word from the one you wanted the most. They're going to want you to start, like, soon, like, immediately, like yesterday. Right? You've been waiting, waiting, waiting. You've been pushing, pushing, pushing. Right? It's a matter of now just letting them do the consideration, get through the process. You're going to be hearing back from somebody or this is the person that you connect with, but it's going to feel natural. It is going to be a natural progression through the process as you have been fighting very hard for this and it's going to work in your favor. Cancer, please. February 2023. Okay. hope your loved ones in the spirit world know when to reach out if they see you're at a low point whether you are caught up in a difficult situation or struggling with someone specific in your life there is always hope that is what the star indicates the star is about hope the star is about healing the star is about aspirations the energy, the synchronicities, the doors being open for you, that is not a coincidence. The path that feels right, whether you can explain it or not, Cancer, it is exactly where you need to be. It is exactly what is right for you. The direction you're moving into may be a long road, whatever it is. But there, there is no one better than you to walk that path. Cancer, I'm going to leave it right there. I want to thank you so much for allowing me to sit with you during this reading and connect with your energy. I hope that you found this clarifying and helpful moving forward. If you did find this helpful, you can absolutely leave a comment below. You can like, share, and subscribe this reading. Also, you can reach out to me for a personal reading. Um, you can find my the information in the description box below. You can also send me an email at ladyoftheunknown555 at gmail.com. But if this is the last we speak for now, I will speak to you in the next reading coming soon. I will talk, to, I will talk with you then. Um, but in the meantime, I'm sending you all of my love. I pray that you are healthy, well, and safe. And I will talk to you soon. Until then, bye cancer.